Hi, my name's Claire Edwards. I'm a Senior Land Service Officer, Pastures with the Central Tablelands Local Land Services. And I'm here today to talk about pasture recovery following the bushfires. And I'm standing in an area that was um, damaged by bushfires in uh, late December, early January um, in 2019 and 2020. And so I'm going to be talking a bit about some of the recovery um, aspects of pastures and some of the factors that we need to think about when we're going to be talking uh, how well those pastures recover and some of the options that we might have and some of the things we might need to look out for um, following um, such an event as a bushfire. So some of the factors we need to think about how well our pastures will survive um, after an event such as a bushfire is thinking about what, um, what the events were prior to, to the actual bushfire. So in this environment that we're standing in today, um, it was a it was a drought for, for a couple of years and it was a very long drought, it was a very severe drought, um, very low soil moisture and then we had very hot conditions. So some of those plants were actually um, almost in survival mode. Um, in some cases uh, we'd remove some of our livestock as well so we didn't have as much livestock and, on, on those pastures as well. So we then had the, the bushfire and afterwards we then were very fortunate that we had rainfall and it continued to rain through from February onwards through those winter months as well. So we're actually being very fortunate that we've actually got um, a fair bit of uh, pasture growth and some of those species have been able to recover, rest and recover such that we can now assess those species and work out what we have and what's recovered and what will actually um, be beneficial for our landscape but also beneficial for our, matching our livestock requirements.